don't think people realize how many hungry people there actually are in the world. Couponing was my answer to be able to help them. My name is Lauren Perrier and I am an extreme couponer. I was inspired by my grandmother. She raised us to always believe that it's important to give back to our community. I don't think people understand the amount of resources that it actually takes to feed large quantities of people. I learned how to coupon. It kind of became an obsession. I've always had a passion to help other people. Once I saw how much I was able to save, I just put the two together and trying to make a difference in the world. Humans should never have to suffer. Now that I've learned how to coupon, it's really an easy way to end hunger. I have fed 10,000 meals. I hope to feed 30,000 by my 30th birthday. It's our human duty to have some type of love for other people. My tiger, look at him. Just imagine he's floating in the cloud. He's beautiful. My name is Caleb Cha. I'm 2015 World Latia Champion. I grew up in Seoul. I was originally a financial consultant, but I felt like something is missing. I decided to move to Australia. No one wanted to hire me, so I was really having difficult times. But I realized that Melbourne was the coffee capital. That moment, my whole interest moved into the Latia. Basically, you need a lot of experiments with pouring, because you need to understand the cooperations in between crema and the milk. The fat rate should be 3% to less than 4%. You need actual fat for creating the beautiful latte out. I want to inspire new barista generations and wannabe champions by showing them this life is something to celebrate by creating new pattern and doing what they love. I definitely look different at bananas. I get ideas by just looking at a banana. I can draw. Salvador Dali, Gnomes, Marilyn Monroe, or Fish, Bone. I sort of stumbled into it. I am Stefan Brussen, and I draw on bananas. This isn't me on my best. It's just fun. I buy the bananas early in the morning to get them real fresh. I need them as yellow as possible to have a clean canvas. I doodle on it, cut it, it starts to turn bad pretty fast, so I have to be quick. Then I eat a banana while I'm playing around with filters. I eat 99%. It's very pleasant to draw on a banana. I think the life lesson is don't ever eat a banana. Making eye contact. My name is Ravi Singh. I live in LA. And we share warm hot meals with the homeless. Appreciate sure. It, huh? Yeah. 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 Place, yeah. Huh? yeah. Thank yeah, you. Nice Thank time. you. Myself and my wife run a non-profit. Its flagship program is Share a Meal. Here's a water and a Thank burrito. You. Have a great night. Share a Meal is a mobile kitchen. We take it to the homeless people. We make vegan burritos. We do this five days a week and we serve about 850 burritos. I'm a Sikh. The purpose, the action of this faith is to serve and to share. Serving a meal to the homeless people have much bigger meaning than just a meal. These are the people who have been ignored. By going to them, handing out a warm burrito every week, they feel that somebody cares for them, and that's the first step of bringing back the trust in humanity in them. Cheerio! Once I start carving, I go into another world. I call this world magic. My name is Daniele Barresi, and I'm a free cover. I'm an Italian in Sydney, Australia. I'm one of the best. I'm a risky person. Just carb and eat straight away. We can't waste food. When I start carving, I forget about problems. The strangest request was to carve a vagina for the bachelor party. Anyway, I did it. The perfect environment for me is to have soft music. Listen, Justin Bieber. I think it's the right music for me to go into the world that I told you before. I like to cut watermelon because the color it reminds me the flag of Italy. It's all about passion. Carving is a big part of me. There is always fruit and vegetables in my dinner. 
I've created 20,000 paintings that I've painted with red wine. It's very physically demanding, but I'm willing to challenge myself for art. My name is Steven Nakamura. I reside in Long Beach, California, and I'm a wine artist. I pour or splash wine covering the entire surface. It's different than painting. This is just letting the wine do what it wants to do. If I spend 100 hours on a painting, I probably spent 200 hours doing research. Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon, and everyone has their own color variations. Within five minutes, I know if something's gonna work or not. As a Trader Joe's wine manager, I often tell people that are my wine customers that wine is not about wine. Wine is about people that it translates into my pieces. Humans are explorers. It's what feeds us. I've chosen wine as the medium to let people know that there's many ways to explore art and I find it very fulfilling. We've been doing this Pay It Forward program for about three years. We serve about 50 to 100 homeless people every day, and we've given away more than 150,000 slices of pizza. My name is Mason Warman, and I'm the owner of Rose's Fresh Pizza. Throughout the day, paying customers can come in, donate dollars for slices of pizza that we give out to people in need, and anybody with complete dignity can come in and get a free slice of pizza to post it notes, keep track of the slices that can be redeemed. So sometimes homeless people will write messages on them, letters of thanks, and oftentimes our donors will write post-it notes that someone cares for them. Rose has already employs a couple homeless people that weren't given any opportunities to improve their lives. To just get them in the door where somebody wants them to succeed is an important first step. A simple pizza shop can be a really powerful force and really enrich lives. It's making a permanent difference that really encourages me to work even harder. Intomilk is a dairy alternative that we make from black soldier fly lava. We take the insects and we process it into a dairy alternative. It forms a rich and creamy liquid which looks and acts just like dairy. Intomilk is very rich in protein, fat, calcium, iron and zinc, which is really good for you. And it's got a very creamy mouthfeel. The world needs alternatives to survive. Insects are vital for the future of food because they require very little land. They don't damage the environment like livestock. They don't produce greenhouse gases. And they meet the demand for ice cream. The world is going to struggle to produce enough food for the growing population. And I find insects a very viable option. Can you believe it's made from insects? Hi, I'm Leah Bessa. I live in Cape Town and I make dairy alternatives from insects. We're so spoiled of great products being shown. When something is blemished, it's discarded. We need to start finding ways to put it back on the table. I'm Jagger Gordon. I'm a chef from Toronto and I rescue food. And our mission is to stop food wastage. Free fresh baked bread. Sweet, thank you. Any food that's destined to landfills needs to be diverted back to the people in need. And without doing it, who will? We have 11 projects in the city of Toronto discarded. Foods put into the nutritionally balanced meals that we create and deliver to people in need. We fed over 39,000 meals and we diverted 67,000 pounds of perfectly edible food from the landfills. I want to make a law that any food that is edible needs to be donated rather than destroyed. Take this food that is destined for landfills and make incredible nutritious meals with it. Give back to the people in need. The number one reason people vomit here is licorice. It tastes like it smells. It's fantastic. My name is Samuel West. I live in Sweden and I'm an expert on disgust. I am the curator of Disgusting Food Museum. Every food here at the museum it has to be real food that's appreciated in some culture. The Icelandic rotten shark is like a urine-infested mattress. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Baverjell. It's a schnapps made from an anal gland of a beaver. The whole aim is to get people to open up to the new, more environmentally sustainable protein sources of the future, like lab-grown meat and insects. It's a celebration of cultural differences and similarities. Vegemite, utterly disgusting. 